Welcome back. Today we're looking not at a piece of rolling stock, not at a locomotive, but a structure. This is the Broadway Limited operating HO scale water tower. Now it has a motorized fill spout and sound effects. MSRP is right under $100 at 99 So let's see what Broadway Limited has in this water tower. This is the UP weathered scheme. So let's get started right now. So as with everything I do an unboxing for you, this is... Coming out of the box for the first time. The box, by the way, has information on the side and the rear about the actual water tower. So it's pretty cool overall. Let's get to the actual product. Got some instructions here. Manual how to hook it up to track power. And explode parts diagram. Actual water tower in this plastic casing. Comes with a remote and some screws. A little silica gel to keep all the humidity out. So let's look at the detail of this. I'm gonna get it sat down to where we can look at some detail. All right, so the first thing I noticed is in the instructions, it explains how to hook it up to track power. On the box, it talks about, you know, powering by any standard 12 volt DC power supply or appropriately stationary accessory DCC decoder. Because I run DC on my layout and I've got locomotives kind of placed around the layout right now, I do have the ability to switch to DC, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up the quote unquote old fashioned way with a 12 volt DC power supply. But we'll get to that later. Right now what we wanna talk about is the actual weathering and appearance of the water tower. So what you can see here is the Union Pacific logo and on the logo there's a nice weathering effect already applied so for those of you who like weathering, no weathering necessary, it's already there for you. There's also several other road names that you can get available in this water tower. You see all the detail the wood grain detail, the appearance of the water tower with all of the components coming together. You have on the back a chain that basically lifts the spout to the level that it's needed to lift to based on which steam locomotive is coming up to get serviced. You've got all the bracing and support under the water tower with an access door right there. Even the knob is included on the door and a nice base for you to integrate that into your layout. Here's an access ladder on this side with an access hatch up top on the roof. Check the sturdiness, very sturdy access ladder there. So that's nice. And then next thing you know we're back around to the front. So it's a pretty cut and dry and simple explanation of the detail of the water tower. I'm sure many of you are wanting to see this in operation so we'll move on to that right now. So we have our water tower set up. We've got a steam locomotive in place. I do have the water tower elevated. Now the water tower should be at about track level. I would use cork roadbed if I had some accessible. When I actually integrate this in the layout I will do that. Drill a hole for the wires to go straight down obviously 
but we've got wires going off on the left here. We've got the button, push button, with wires going off on the right. This would mount with those two screws in the package onto your fascia or whatever. So this in demo is not going to look as nice as when it's installed on the layout. But those are your tips to install it on the layout. Now that we've talked about that, let's go over actual operation. There's three different modes on this, so I'm going to go over those. The first one is hitting the button once. And when you hit the button once and leave it alone, it flows and then it eventually overflows and then somebody says knock it off and the guy knocks it off or whatever. So we'll test that one right now. So there you have the first sequence. The second sequence is to hit the button and then hit it again within five seconds. Some people, I think, get wrapped around whether the water's flowing or not. You just have to hit it within five seconds of hitting it the first time. When you do that, it will go indefinitely. So you hit it to start and then you hit it again a second time within five seconds. It plays indefinitely. We'll test that feature right now. I would go ahead and call that indefinitely, unless you want this to be the longest review of all time. We'll uh, say that that definitely exceeded the amount of length that the first sequence went. So I'll go ahead and hit the button now on the indefinite and it will stop the flow. Let's move out. So there you have sequence two. Third sequence is that you press it and then you let it flow as long as you want and after the initial five second period obviously you'll do the first mode and then you can stop it so let's just test that one real quick because this is a product review i want to see if broadway limited is working as advertised about five seconds i'll go ahead and hit it again So there you have the three modes. Works as advertised from what Broadway Limited put as the three modes. This has a one year warranty on it and this is definitely going to get implemented on the layout because I like all of the motion and things. I've got activated crossing gates, I've got lighting, I've got a wind, wind turbine up here that actually works. So as you can see I do like animation on the layout and I believe this is going to go right where it can be of service to some steam locomotives. Let's go ahead and wrap this review up. Well guys, there you have it. The Broadway Limited Operating Water Tower. Really cool for under $100 MSRP. Obviously you're going to find discounts out there that will take prices down even further. But I like automation on the layout like I just said. I think it's really cool and I'm impressed with Broadway Limited's innovation lately. They've got all these cool things coming out. Little hints about a thunderstorm system that uh, is very interesting that I look forward to and, and all of their innovative products. They're starting to change the status quo in the industry with all these new thinking outside the box innovations on things. And that's probably why they're 
a very strong contender for the People's Choice Awards this year that will be mentioned in Milwaukee. They will, whoever wins that award will be awarded that award. I still got to do all the tallying, but overall, Broadway Limited is in that running because the category was most anticipated product lineup, and they've got some great product coming out. This is releasing um, the Paragon 3 sound system is releasing the Rolling Thunder sets, like a subwoofer. I mean, I've actually put a frame under my layout for that. So a lot of innovative, exciting products coming from them. And that's just my take as a modeler. Um, a lot of cool stuff on the way. So thanks for watching. Buy it if you do. Don't buy it if you don't want to. Uh, it's up to you. But I present the facts. We tested everything they said, and it worked accordingly and as advertised so thanks for watching i'll see you next time right here on my channel take care